So maybe you have the same problem. You have a Ryzen 5000 series processor and you've got a motherboard that does not support the 5000 series processors out of the box and you need a BIOS update. And in order to do that, you think you might need a second CPU, one of the older ones that the motherboard supports and then update the BIOS that way. Well, that is not necessarily the case. And in this video, you'll see how you can update the BIOS with just a USB drive and nothing else. Artlist is an affordable way to license all the music you need for your projects. Whether it's personal, commercial, TV, podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, you get the point. You name it, it's covered. No more worrying if your music licensing covers your project. One worldwide license that covers it all. Oh, and that's not all. Artlist also includes tons of sound effects and the music is updated daily, so you never run out of choice. If you're wondering, how did I get all these nice shots of B-roll, well, it's called Artgrid a site similar to Artlist but for video. Artgrid can provide all the stock footage you need from HD to 8K, profile formats, log or graded to assure that it can be personalized and fitted to your current project. And Artgrid works the same as Artlist, one worldwide license that covers it all. So it's simple, choose the license that you need and that fits your budget and Enjoy the unlimited downloads without any extra cost added. Get two extra months for free when you join Artgrid or Artlist through the links provided. Check out Artlist and Artgrid in the video description below. So first of all, you need to prepare a USB drive. You go to the exact motherboard page on the manufacturer website. So this one would be Gigabyte Vision D B550 motherboard. You go there and on the support tab or downloads tab, you will see BIOS versions that you can download. Download the BIOS file or the latest BIOS file. Make sure that there is no instructions next to it that says you need to update the BIOS like in certain order because sometimes the BIOS needs to be updated in certain order. You can't just, you know, jump from the very latest or very oldest BIOS driver to the very latest driver. You have to kind of update them in order. But if you have one of the latest motherboards like this one or in this case, that is not a problem. You just go to the motherboard website, get that latest BIOS drive file that there is there, download. Next of all, you need to extract that BIOS file and then you'll have a few files in there. The file that we are looking for is a .13a file or in my case it's called B550 Vision D file. Now what you want to do next is rename the BIOS update file. So that should be the largest file in the files that you just extracted. What you want to do is if you go with gigabyte boards, you have want to name that file to gigabyte.bin bin. And also make sure you rename the dot bin in there as well. So make sure that the file extension gets renamed to dot bin, not dot 13 a or whatever other file extension that this file might have. So once you have that file as gigabyte dot bin, if you're using other motherboards like MSI, ASRock, ASUS, then these are some of the extensions that you might want to use or that what you need to rename them to. But in Gigabyte, it is quite simple. And here I have this all set. Next of all, that USB drive that you have needs to be in FAT32 file format. So make sure you format USB drive before you put the files in there. Make sure you back up any files you might need for a USB drive because everything needs to be gone from the USB drive and you only need one file on there. Don't put any other files on because it might not work. We only need that one. BIOS update file on there. And then once you have copied that one file over to the USB drive, it should be ready. Now, let me show you how this works. You don't actually need a CPU, so I'll get it all ready and then I'll show you what, what's next. This is now what you all need. You need a motherboard on top of the box. You need a power supply and two things plugged in. The CPU power or the eight pin or four pin, and then the main 24 pin ATX power on there for the motherboard, nothing else. So as you can see, this is all set up. Now we're gonna turn up on this power supply. We're gonna need to plug in the USB stick now in the back over here. And it's very important to know which port you need to plug it in there. As you can see, this part over here says BIOS USB. 
So you need to plug in the USB into this part if you're using this specific motherboard. If you're using some other motherboards, they're either to show you like USB flash or one USB is white. Some Gigabyte or Aorus boards have like a white USB that will be this, but it should be quite distinctively named like a different USB port than any others. So we need to use this one over here. Now, not all motherboards support updating the BIOS by USB, but what you need to be looking for is something called a button button over here let me show you this uh, th 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 this one over here so it says Q flash plus button over there this is the bias button and this is what we want to be using when this is plugged in sometimes the button is in the back of the motherboard over there sometimes it's on the top somewhere over there sometimes it's different places in the motherboard but you want to be looking like a button like that that says Q flash plus or uh, flashback or something like that so once the USB has been plugged in the power supply is on, as you can see on the bottom over there. Both of these pins are definitely plugged in. What you want to do is hold on this Q flash button over there. We're going to hold that on until we're going to see flashing. And then once it's flashing, that is it. We're going to leave this flashing there until the flashing absolutely stops. Now, it's very, very important that during this process, you do not remove the power supply. You do not remove anything because you might brick the motherboard if you plug the power off or something like that. So we want to leave that flashing over there. Don't touch anything. Let it do its job. And that's it. As you saw on this motherboard particularly, you had like this other things come on as well. Like this had zero zero on this uh, uh, debug LED over there and the DRAM LED on the motherboard over there was lit up as well so that shows that it was updating the BIOS I know it's a little bit of a scary process because you can't see anything can't hear anything you're wondering what on earth is happening it was slowly flashing so when it was slowly flashing it was actually doing the update and now after a while it just turned off and you can hear like a little click on the power supply and then boom we are back on so now this is safe to remove the usb stick or turn the power on off because it has actually updated the bios to the latest version and that is it so this is how easy it is to update the bios on your motherboard if your motherboard doesn't support the latest cpus that are out there hopefully this was helpful for you and check out the power supply with white cables there's going to be a very interesting very nice build coming up so if you want to see this build actually that's coming up stay tuned because it's coming up very very soon thanks guys for watching hit the like button if you found this video helpful subscribe if you haven't already and see you soon thanks for watching bye bye